Say so. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. A very simple scripture and yet a very important instruction. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. That means you are declaring that God has redeemed you, that God has delivered you, God has rescued you. And this is so true for us as New Covenant believers because we know that through the blood of Jesus Christ, the work of redemption has been accomplished. And therefore Paul writes that we are redeemed. In him we have redemption through his blood. Or Paul writes in another place in Colossians, he says, God has delivered us from the powers of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his own dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of our sins. So now what are we supposed to do with this? God has redeemed us. God has delivered us. Our God has broken the power of sin. He's broken the power of Satan off of our lives. He has taken us out of darkness and he's brought us into his marvelous light. What a great redemption. What a great deliverance God has given to us. Uh, Paul writes in Galatians, he, God has delivered us from this present evil world. Uh, and Titus, the Bible says that he has uh, delivered us from every evil work so that he might sanctify us and purify us unto himself. So he's delivered us from this evil world. He's delivered us from evil works, sinful deeds. I mean, a great redemption God has accomplished for us. But we must learn to say so. We must learn to acknowledge it. And you declare about yourself that you are the redeemed of the Lord. Because the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So you begin to say, I am the redeemed of the Lord. I have been delivered from the powers of darkness. Satan has no right over me, no place in me, no authority over my life. You begin to say that sin will not have any dominion over me. Evil deeds will have no power and authority over me because I have been delivered from evil works. This present age will not have any influ influence over me because God has delivered me from this present evil age. So you announce and you declare your redemption. You declare what God has redeemed you from. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And then what will happen? You will find that the enemy knows that you are redeemed. He cannot play around with you. He can't deceive you. He can't come upon you in any way because you have declared that you are indeed the redeemed of the Lord. The Bible says that we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So you, you and I need to declare, we, you and I need to testify to what the blood of the Lamb has done for us and provided for us. Boldly say what you've been redeemed from. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the redemption you've made available to us. And we boldly say so. We thank you for our redemption, that we are the redeemed of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.